Lose yourself in a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club. Now, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child was one of the most highly anticipated books of the year. Mm, certainly was. Anya Toner joins us now to tell us if it lives up to the hype, as well as to give her suggestions for books that both young adults and their parents will love. Anya, you're very welcome to the programme. Mm. It was much anticipated in your household, Ian, wasn't it? It sure was. So the day it, it came out, my 10, 11-year-old on Saturday, happy birthday, Anna, um, is, uh, like, rushed out to buy it, rushed out to get it, and she had finished it within 12 hours. She was a huge Harry Potter fan, and I think that was the reaction of most Harry Potter fans. Did she love it as much as the other books? She said it was very, very good. Uh, it wasn't her favourite Harry Potter book. Mm. I would agree with that. I also rushed out to buy it because mm. I'm a shameless Harry Potter fan. Um, and I, and I, I read it once and you have to because I you think do. when you're in that world you're just so absorbed by it as well. And you can't believe there's a new one for you to explore which exactly. is the big thing. Yeah. Now Rowling didn't write this but it's her story. It's her story. So how does that so, work? So the guy who wrote it, Jack Thorne, I mean, he, it's almost like he stepped into her hands, her okay. writing hands I suppose because it just it's so like her the dialogue obviously because it's a play it's all about dialogue it's so it's so detailed it's so rich with kind of the past history and then, and then what they're doing now as well so I I think it works really well I loved it I cried I yeah. just thought it was really moving and you know you, because it's a play you have so much less detail than you, than you would do in a book mm. but because you've been there you've walked kind of effectively with Harry and Hermione and Ron for this the last is, this is for the so last my daughter. Yeah, seven yeah. years you know yeah you do kind of go, well, actually, I don't need to know what the Ministry of Magic looks like because I know exactly what it looks like in my head. And I, right. you know, maybe you've seen the films and you have an idea. You're bringing that world with you to the book. You know, so what actually happens well, in, in the story? 19 years on, it kind of starts where the, the Deathly Hallows finishes. So it's when Harry, age 37, has three kids, he's putting his second son, Albus, on the train to, to Hogwarts. And he, he, Albus is a little bit worried. He's trying to live up in his, he's living in his father's shadow. You know, Harry is on a, a, a sugar-free diet. You know, this is, <laughs> it's, you know, he's both Yes, it does. <laughs> um, and it's the idea of him having to learn, kind of like how he becomes an adult, how he becomes a parent, based on the childhood he had. So obviously, it's Potter 2.0, essentially. Exactly. Yeah. And we also work on the basis of, you know, the Battle of Hogwarts, which was massive in the, in the last book, the last big Harry Potter book. And what would happen if it had gone a different direction as well? So it kind of ah, takes you down a few little paths A dystopian as well. Harry Potter. In a, in a sense. In a sense, In yeah. a sense, so, yeah. This is a play, which is wildly yes. successful at the moment in London. Yes. So it's the book of the play, but is it written exactly. as, a, as a play? It's written as a play. Oh, okay, okay, um, so you're reading the play. Complete, oh, exactly. Okay. And you're, okay. the, the whole point of the play is that it's set over, you know, you, you enjoy it over the course of a day, over the course of two evenings. You know, 175,000 tickets were sold in the first eight hours of the yeah. ticket. Yeah. The tickets went on sale for the play. And it's been, I think it's booked up, you know, for months in advance. Or oh, years in advance. It's only 2019 on. or yeah, something. Yeah, it's only on for, like, for, a, little, for like yeah. a relatively short time for a play. But yeah. it's, it's just captured everybody's attention as I'm well. I'm sure that it's going to, like any other good um, mm. uh, production, will roll on. It will. And Go on and on and on. The, and on. The, the demand you know for it is huge. Yeah. Anyway, that's Harry Potter okay. and the Cursed Child. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Very good. Flawed by Cecilia Hearn. Now, this is a, about Celestine North, lives a perfect life, life falls apart. Um, tell us all about this. There's my introduction to it. <laughs> but, you know, but you're absolutely right. I mean, she lives this effectively perfect lifestyle. She's a real goody goody. Do you know, okay. in that sense, she doesn't put a foot out of the line. But there are people in, who are living in the same place that, and it's kind of not, not in the too distant future as well, but people who don't abide by the laws as such in terms of like they might lie, they might be seen mm. to be kind of stepping out of side of kind of transgressing the rules and they're flawed and they live this very contained, very limited life and um, it doesn't really bother Celestine too much until there comes a point when she acts on something that she sees as being, she sees as being unfair and mm. against the rules and that is going to have huge consequences for her. And this, Burma, this is a, this is a two-part book, so the next book, Perfect, will be coming out later on is this year. Is this a typical Cecilia Hearn book? No, but it's so this is her different. first foray first, into YA, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, first foray. She wrote it in six weeks. She got the idea and she said she... wrote it in six weeks? Six weeks. She said she had to write it. Stream of consciousness. And um, yeah. it's just, like, you can tell it's just, it kind of flows so nicely together as well. You know, this kind of, yeah. it's almost got this kind of urgency whenever you read it as well um, and there are a couple of scenes and you kind of go oh, it's not very like Cecilia Hearn at all but she goes to certain places I think that she's, a, young wonderful, are gonna she's love. a wonderful imagination though just, Cecilia well, she's yeah. a storyteller yeah. you know and yeah. you, be, you kind of you go along and you believe it and you are affected by it as well and that's the point isn't it so it's part two is coming out as well it's called perfect it'll be out later in the year okay, so it's so. like her finding her new voice which is uh, interesting as well I, isn't I think it's, it's, it's a complete different audience and I think yeah. she will get you know people who who love Cecilia Hearn's books will read it and go because it's a Cecilia Hearn book and then she'll gonna, she might get a slightly younger audience as well who are just really interested in young Well, YA fiction. or young adults is the big growth sector within Completely. the world of publishing, so every yeah. publisher is going, eh, will you knock out a 
YA novel but isn't there. But isn't yeah. it marvellous? You know, they're reading. Yeah, yeah. They're Big reading song, yeah. at that age. It's, Absolutely. It's, 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 uh, only Ever Yours. Now, this is Louise O'Neill, who we know very well on mm -hmm. this show, uh, asking for it, got huge publicity, and quite rightly so. People might not be as familiar with Only Ever Yours. It's her, it was yeah. her first yeah. book. It came out two years ago, and it's based on two girls who are in a... It's called The School. They've been there for 12 years, 16, and they're working towards a goal. And the goal is either to be um, a companion, which is effectively a wife and a, sub and a submissive wife mm -hmm. at that, um, a concubine or a chastity, when that, a teacher effectively, that they'll be teaching the next generation of girls. Um, their whole goal is to be good, be pretty, and do what you're told. And, um, and <laughs> My there's like, exactly, well, it, um, the, mm. it's all very well, and they're all friends, and all getting all very well, and you have to, mean to watch your weight and, you know, you know, always look after your looks, but the, only, the, only the top 10 girls in the year will become companions and be married off effectively there's, there's to the men a, who come there's in. There's a big sound of um, um, the, the Handmaid's Tale, the Margaret Atwood book of this, isn't Completely. there? Yeah. And it's great because if you if you have read this and you want to read something that's quite similar to it as mm. well, you know, and um, the Handmaid's Tale, obviously, it's kind of more for a, a, kind of an, an adult audience yeah, as well. Yeah, but the dystopian fiction, huge at the moment, obviously. Can, can do no wrong. Can do either. no wrong, I mean, yeah. there, there's a yeah. real sense that people want to read about something that's kind of similar enough. Yeah. Messed, not messed up futures. Exactly. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? It's, 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 just, it's so in intriguing. So that's uh, only every year's we lose a deal. And finally, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I loved it. I have to say, I cried on the tree and reading this on the way down to Dublin from, from home. I just thought right. it was wonderful. And it deals with mental illness. It's a, okay. um, Theodore Finch and Violet Markey, they meet on top of the school bell tower. They're planning on throwing themselves off the bell right. tower. Um, she has PTSD over the, her sister's death and he has, he's kind of has suicidal thoughts. And they kind of meet and they become friends. And there is a bit of, a, there's a relationship there. Um, and they kind of help each other, I suppose. They kind of find each other and mm. they, they do this kind of group project together mm. in, in, in college. And they just, they become these wonderful friends and there is a little bit of a romance there as well. But it, I mean, it's a big thing. Mental illness in itself is a big thing. It's, it's you know, it's can it's very well handled in a young adult book yeah. and um, it's very moving and it's not sensationalised yeah. either. But that's one question about all of these books. At what age do parents feel comfortable in giving the books that we've just mentioned to yeah. their children? It depends on the child, I suppose. But I suppose it depends yeah. on the child. And some of them are dealing with really big issues. maturity as well. Yeah. Because, mm. you know, I, I suppose it, from a parent's point of view as well as whether or not they want to be approached by by, by certain questions that come out of some of the books, particularly the Weasel Neil book, even even like the Harry Potter book, there there are questions that come out that, as a parent, you've got to feel comfortable answering. Mm. I suppose so. It's supposed to sort of reflect your child. I, I, I try to, but you don't always do it. Get to read the books first. It's a good idea. Um, yeah. But uh, oftentimes they just they get ahead of you, and or yeah. they, have, yeah. they have their own Kindle or whatever it may be. So you can't always keep a, an eye on it. But uh, I suppose that's a good thing in itself as well. Isn't exactly. It? You know, that's yeah. how you grow. There's up. very few books that you ever regret reading, no matter what well, age you are. Yeah. Yeah. Because if they're above you, you don't understand them. So yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, now, Anna. would you like to be in with a chance of winning a book club goodie bag and versus tablet? All you have to do is work out what famous author we're describing. Today's clue is one of the one of this author's best known children's book was recently turned into a film directed and produced by Steven Spielberg. I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Shh, quiet. <laughs> uh, to enter, send your answers to Ireland at tv3.ie or post them to Borgosh Energy Book Club, TV3 Westgate Business Park, Ballymount, Dublin 24. Lose yourself in a good book. The Board Gosh Energy Book Club.